I was uh, I did an interview yesterday and I was just talking because again I, I I really regret calling the show ducks and other mistakes I made because people ask me about ducks all the time and I go no for fuck's sake it's just a joke because <laughs> I'm a quite a militant vegetarian it really anno- it actually quite does annoy me uh, people who've got kids who go kids. to the uh, pond and give them give the ducks stale bread and go and the kids get the wonder of watching ducks being fed and uh, and then they eat duck in Chinese restaurants they pull out a you know, plate of plum sauce and go sit on that and reel them in and get them little blankets of uh, pancakes. This woman, she told me the story, which I really refuse to believe, because she said, oh, I saw uh, a swan fighting an Alsatian in a canal in Glasgow. And I know Glasgow's fairly rough, but I don't think that happens. Like, stand-up is the purest form. Like, I like doing TV, but... I feel more comfortable on stage than I do walking down a street. Like, even with the beginning of the show that I'm doing here at the festival, is uh, I bring the atmosphere down really really down right at the start on purpose and they're just going why i'm 44 i shouldn't be doing stuff like that i should be going hey i love you all but i just i don't feel that's right and no like it's uh yeah of course there's one line is in there but um, it's more like uh just talking about stuff you know you know it's about six or seven subjects but like it's still big subjects like religion and you know um my dad's got cancer i talk about that but it's uh hi yeah there he is, off to hospital there now. But um, he's taking a turn for the worst. <laughs> See, I, that's what I mean, I don't think there's anything that's taboo, even my dad's illness. Comedy is probably the last uh, in the arts freedom where you can actually say anything you want. Comedy on television has is, is gone a really weird way and it's all that feel-good stuff. I hate all that shit. Like, there's a joke I did on the last tour about um, I just said, because I get, keep on getting referred to as better in comic show news, and I go, I've never fought in any war. I think it's you know, disrespectful to people like our grandparents who have fought in the war, like my granddad. This is, with him, I have to take his word for it, because in all the pictures, he's wearing a balaclava. Uh, my audiences, because of my age, they tend to uh, like to talk to me. And like, this is the weirdest one I was, because uh, obviously I do topical stuff at the start, and I was just talking about, or, you know, Derek Bird, and... Uh, and Roel Moat, you know, the two killers lately. And, um, and this woman was looking really blankly and I said, do you not know who Roel Moat is? And she went, no. And this guy piped up and went, he's a sexier Derek Bird. And I go, what kind of society are we living in? When... And he wasn't, he wasn't doing it as a joke. He was just really trying to explain to it. Because <laughs> also, like, there was that thing I was just reading it yesterday uh, on the train. Um, some woman came all the way from Somerset to go to Roel Moat's funeral with her kids. Like, she didn't know them or anything, and I'm just going, this is why I feel safer on stage rather than walking down the street. Yeah, it's a safer place to be. Yeah, but you know, that, isn't that not just weird? I'm doing a week in London after this, and that's, uh, and that's it, I'm gonna write for six months, uh, a play and a sitcom, hopefully. Okay. And maybe some rap. That's, um, uh, well, I'm on uh, <laughs> at the Guild, I know, I know where I'm on. I'm sure, apparently I'm Sean Hughes, and uh, I'm on at the Guild of Bloom uh, from now until sometime in the future. They're uh, debating whole room, but because you don't know when this goes out, do you? Be out by the weekend, I think. Yeah, yeah. I've got about eight more days left then before I j- rejoin the IRA.